Okay, friends, this is the slower uh, down version of how I created this truck. Now, this is a part of a wreath attachment that I recently shared, uh, you know, if, you know, how I painted the truck. I gave just a brief overview of my hand lettering and there are lots of friends that want to have a slower version. So that's what I'm sharing in this video. Okay. So one of the things that I like to do is take, uh, these trucks are actually what I like to do is take thing signs from the Dollar Tree and flip them and, uh, put my little country spin on them. And, uh, so this farm fresh pumpkins truck is part of, uh, that can be found at the Dollar Tree. I just take the truck off of the stand uh, or the stick and remove the arrow. And then I paint it whatever color to kind of match the wreath that I'm doing or what season it is. And I just painted this truck black and I just use like some light gray paint to make the back glass. I had done this last year and then I never did anything with the truck. So that's why you don't see me painting the actual truck in this video because I had already done that. And it's just something that I pulled out and decided to use. So then what I'm um, doing here is I'm, I'm doing some shading and I use a, a quarter inch flat paintbrush and dip half of my brush in paint the other half in clean water I blend on a paper towel and then I just go around the edges to give some shading now to give some shading to my back glass I'm using the color slate gray and I do the same thing I dip half of my brush in paint the other half in clean water and then I just go around the outside or the edges of that I also did that in black uh, on the back glass as well as on the bumper. I don't show it on camera, but I did do that as well. I used that same paintbrush and dipped half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water, and then I blend it on a paper towel just to give some black, uh, kind of like some depth to my bumper and my back glass. Then for the treads on my tires, I'm just using my fan brush and just using a part of the brush just to give it some swirls uh, for my tires. Then to give a glare for my back glass, I use the shimmering silver uh, metallic paint that I get from the craft store. And I'm just using a paintbrush just to give some uh, put some of the paint. I'm not being uh, very precise or with coverage or anything because I just using it for glare, kind of like hitting the high spots, kind of like where the, uh, you know, a reflection would be on the glass and also on the bumper. And as I say, the beauty is in the details for me. And so I put lots of details in my painted projects and on my crafts. It's just, uh, I try not to, but it's just what I do. It's just, it's my being. It's how the Lord has made me. And I'm so glad that so many like-minded country loving friends have found their way to my channel. So guys, now what I'm doing is I'm taking a number two uh, liner brush and just uh, taking some white paint and just doing some lines just to add just some character. Uh, actually, also, I'll go around the truck just to add some doodling. Uh, I like it. I just really feel that just the doodling just really kind of makes my projects pop as well as bring them to life. And, uh, you know, uh, it has taken me several years to learn how to paint with the paintbrush, but I was persistent and I had, um, you know, develop some patience. The Lord has given me the patience to learn how to kind of do this. And co and so I just share this only to be encouraging that if you want to do it, if you don't like it, uh, it's just paint, you can paint over it. Um, but kind of less is more until you find your groove to find what works for you and the look that you like for your projects. And so I'll just uh, continue here just by adding some white doodling and it highlights to my truck.
for the hand lettering of this truck, I'm using a quarter inch flat paintbrush. And my favorite paintbrushes are linked in the description box below of this video. You can just click see more or click the little arrow or the uh, triangle to expand the box. And I will have them linked in the description. And so I take my time and um, figure out how I want to put my letters. Now, um, as I've mentioned in many other videos, I do like my happy dots and I have found a free font called Jill Dotica. I will have a link to that uh, font. It is also um, you can download it, install it on your computer, and then you can have it to type out on like a Word document uh, what you want to say and practice what you would like to say. And so actually that's kind of how I learned, um, you know, my lettering. And so I am just uh, forming the letters the way that I like them. And, you know, um, I've been painting for a long time. I have... Um, messed up a lot. I share some of those mess ups in the videos, but um, I say this to encourage you that even though how long I've been doing it, I'm still, I still mess up. And so if you mess up, don't, don't give up. Don't say, oh, I can't do it because I messed up. No, continue to do it and just keep practicing. And so I like to put happy dots on my letters and I just um, achieve that here by just using that paintbrush and just going, uh, on each letter and just putting a small happy dot. So then to add some shadow or some highlight, I'm using this antique gold paint and just a round paintbrush and uh, not being very precise, just kind of going around and just kind of uh, highlighting the letters, just going through. And if, uh, and when I do, because it does happen, if I get some of that color on the white, then I'll just go back, uh, once the gold is dry, then I'll go back and just, you know, clean up with the white and uh, just make sure that it, my letter doesn't look odd. Now I'm going to do my splattering and uh, I do have to give the disclaimer to make sure that your, if you want to splatter paint, make sure that your table is covered or that your area is covered uh, because splattering is messy and it will get everywhere. And so how I achieve my splattering is just using a stiff brush and a uh, stick and I run uh, my stick across the bristles like the stick toward my body so that the um, 
paint projects onto my project. And the reason that I'm sharing, uh, because I've gotten some comments to say that some friends have, uh, you know, messed up their table or messed up their carpet or something because of the splattering. So just make sure that your table is covered, uh, because it does get everywhere, uh, or it just projects a little bit. So anyway, I splatter with black first, then I go back over it with the white. Okay. So then once that's completely dry, then I'm going to embellish my truck and uh, I'm using the small hay bales. Uh, the one on the right, that pack came from Dollar Tree. The one on the left came from Hobby Lobby and they're just small hay bales like that. Uh, to have the hay bale stick into something, I just cut off some styrofoam and glued it to the truck. Then to have it blend in, I just painted it black. And then to mask that a little and give it a bit of whimsy, I'm just, uh, I just glued on some fine excelsior uh, so that it all looks very country. And then to uh, get my hay bales to stick into my truck, I just used my paper piercer to get, put a hole in there and I glued in a toothpick and then cut that down and then uh, stuck the hay bales into the truck. And so then for this particular truck, I just, um, stuck in some pumpkins, some small mini pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree, stuck those in. I also added some of this fall foliage of something that I had on hand, as well as some of these uh, small sunflowers. And then this is how it looks. Later, I will add some shimmery pumpkins. And that is how I hand letter, hand paint and embellish my trucks from the Dollar Tree. I hope this was helpful.